एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई चैनल वसटाइल मदर और यू ए मदर ऑफ टू किड्स आर यू रियली फाइंडिंग इट डिफिकल्ट इन मैनेजिंग यूर किड्स नो प्रॉब्लम टूडे आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू शेयर यू अ फाइव गोल्डन रूल्स फॉर ईच एंड एवरी मदर एंड इफ यू रियली फॉलो दिस गोल्डन रूल्स यू डेफिनेटली सी अ ड्रास्टिक चेंज इन योर लाइफ बिफोर सेइंग दिस रूल्स आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू से यू वन थिंग आई एम नॉट अ सर्टिफाइड डॉक्टर आई एम जस्ट ए मॉम ऑफ टू किड्स and this information is completely out of my own experience and of course the results are awesome and because of this reason i just want to share my own experience to all the new moms who nowadays are feeling very hectic in managing their kids especially in this lockdown session so without late let's get started first and foremost every mom should keep in her mind is a perfect planning A mom with a perfect planning and a vision always results in a productive day in her life. Mother, how much quality time are you giving to your kids? Do check it once. Being as a mother and also as a homemaker, so we spend most of the time in the kitchen zone and in our home responsibilities. Soon after we finish our responsibilities, so we tend to have some relaxing time. that is where each and every mother does a mistake so instead of going for your relaxation instead of going for your entertainment like uh, sitting in front of the uh, television and watching some serials or watching uh, a, some social media so please make sure that you spend your this quality time with your kids make sure that you engage with your kids in whatever activities up to you so you play with them or you jump with them you study with them so but do make sure that you are with your kids 110% why i'm saying so because most of the kids they are lacking a comfort zone nowadays because of the lack of peer group they are feeling so insecure that they have been thrown away in some corner of the room so this is the reason give a very comfort zone to your kids by giving most of your quality time spending with them so in this way we can also overcome the crankiness in their kids also so first point i just want to say is plan the time properly and in an organized manner and make sure that most of the time should be for your kids itself second thing is don't ever give excuses for your kids when it comes to studies yes after a perfect planning and if you want to implement it and if you ask your kid come and sit let us start the homework and if your kid says that mommy i got headache i got stomach ache and some silly reasons and please ignore that silly reasons if it is really a silly reason make sure that your child is sitting in front of the book in a given period of time so and also make sure that you are sitting with your kid until he finishes his task so in between or in meanwhile if he really get a boredom of the work so engage with some activities like coloring or a dance or singing a song and again you bring back him to the book zone so in this way you can slowly 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 you can make that length of that time period to at least a 1 hour to 2 hours so that you, your child will sit in front of the books and he completed his task so as the time goes on you a child does not needs you he himself comes to that period of time and he himself completes the homework and goes away so make sure that don't give any excuses when it comes to the studies third one is stop the screen time so most of the parents we blame our kids so if if we keep a coco melon only my kid eats food if we keep some chota bim only he eats food so please stop blaming your kids because it was you who introduced the screen for your kids and blaming them is useless so your kid already got addicted to your phone so check out in what ways we can bring back our ch- child from that phone addiction before that being as a mother first check out what you are doing 
So please take off your mobile from your hand before asking your child to do that. So do, do talk with your child even if you find 10 minutes of time. Instead of asking them to come go away from the screen time, give them activities which are so, so curious, so exciting, so interesting than the screen time. In this way, we can drag the child from that screen time. So there are many more activities which are so interesting than the screen time. So what are those activities? How can, make, how can we make that activities in home? All this detailed description, I will give a, a complete description in my coming videos. All that I want to say is, there are many activities which we can follow that will be more interesting than the screen time. Fourth one is a pretend play. This is one of the best zone that I always recommend for parents if you find any difficult in teaching your kids. For example, if you're teaching about community helpers, ask the children to play that role. For example, baby, I got hurt here. You are a doctor now. Please come on. Please check me. Uh, please wear this bag. Carry this bag. Wear this stethoscope. Now you are a doctor. You have to treat your mother. So in this way, the child gets very excited. He, he finds very curious and uh, he finds very interesting and he plays the role of a doctor. So by this pretend play, we can give more content to the little brain. So pretend play is one of the best zone in which we can engage our children in, edu in education part, in which make, the, make our children to come out of that screen time, in which make our children to communicate as much as possible. So it has a benefits in various factors. And fifth one is memorizing with fun play. So how can we memorize with fun play? So this is the last thing which I does it every day, which I'm still doing now also. So whatever topic, so uh, once you have completed your uh, A to Z alphabets, so for sure you will have a terrace or you will have a balcony in your house. So take, take your child, come out of that house. So make a cycle or take some toys or say some bicycles or whatever the toys that is, which is more interesting for your kids. And spend the, this evening time, especially from 4 to 7 p.m. So spend this time in your terrace or in your balcony. Make, the, make sure that the child is having the fresh air. So ask them to involve in their activities like in their uh, riding the cycle or playing with the toys. Leave them. If your child is interested in playing toys, let them play with the toys. Meanwhile, you ask the questions. You ask the questions, you memorize them. All that I want to say is a repeat, revise, recap is the only key way in which we can make our child the information so, so stick into their little minds. So always keep on repeating them. Always keep on revising. Always keep on re recapping. When you have a small leisure of time between 4 to 7 p.m. in your terrace or in your balcony area. So this is what I always say memorizing with fun play. So you can do as your own interest. This is uh, one of the way which I do. So five things I just again want to recap for you is a perfect planning and second one is no excuses when it comes to studies and third one is stop the screen time and fourth one is a pretend play and last one is memorizing with a fun activities so these are the five best zone in which you can engage your kids in different activities and you can handle your kids without any crankiness without any issues if you really like this rules and if you want to follow it do implement today itself and uh, i'll assure you you will definitely see a great change in your child behavior so this is where i am ending my video stick on to my the next videos where i am giving a detailed description of each and every topic which i have discussed now so this is just a part one and a reminding everything you will get in five parts so please stick on to my channel